Yo what's up guys this is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video and on this video I'm gonna show you the Firebrand support and I'm just sitting here and chillaxing while well, you can watch me sitting and yeah just chilling here on the arena swapping my seat a little bit <laughs> nah just kidding so I just decided because one of my subscribers just said to me Hey dude, why you don't don't you just try out Firebrand with this amulet? Uh, just quickly showing you the build here with this Harrier amulet. He said it, it it is really fun to play like this. And I was just thinking about it, and he said you can do a lot of damage while healing your allies and be an annoying support. And I just tried it out. He told me to use another build, but I'm gonna show you now my own creation of the of his build. Uh, I, I forgot his name, but maybe I will write it in the comments or something like that. <laughs> I'm using Sword Focus with Mace and Shield, Sigil of Annulment on the Sword and Sigil of Energy, plus Sigil of Intelligence and Sigil of Energy on this one here. Now the amulet is the Harrier amulet, which I'm using for the first time. I was trying to use um, Shout Warrior with this one here, Power Healing Power and concentration could work pretty nice because the warrior has uh, even without vitality he has like 19k hp which is pretty good and i was thinking a shout warrior could work and the rune of leadership because of the longer boon duration which is pretty nice because we have here all the skills applying boons and having a longer boon duration here you can see it 90 percent longer boon duration retaliation has a hundred percent longer duration on us and this build is just a lot of fun now to the build i'm using honor virtues and firebrand i'm i'm recording this video late at night and yeah i just got kicked out yeah, if you kicked if you get kicked out of the map of the arena you just get ported here back which is pretty stupid a little bit in my opinion i don't know why they make it like this so don't get your get yourself kicked out of there uh, no, I'm not streaming and basically I wanted to go offline here it's late in the night <laughs> um, sorry by the way <laughs> I'm just recording right now okay to the firebrand now this build here he's he told me another build but with other builds you have 12k HP now this is the type with a little bit more survivability and as you all know I love survivability and this is the main reason why I want to use something with survivability basically you can uh, change honor for radiance to get the retaliation buff when you use your healing skill you should get up to 19 seconds retaliation and you will have a 50% critical hit chance which means you will also even more than 50 uh, something above 50 percent critical hit chance plus uh, if you get fury from from an alley you will also have 70 or 80 percent critical hit chance which is freaking a lot and it will be a nice dps healing build like that now what makes this build so special uh the good the mix about healing and being annoying to enemies i will say something something like that now what i mean with that you can just see it here um, let's just attack this guy i just uh, i wanted to record my last game but i just failed to do that we can do this remove that interrupt this guy grant myself stability auto attack him here with my mace and i don't know if you can just see it or not but I'm pretty annoying <laughs> you can see it here I'm pretty annoying remove that okay he got attacked from an other guy never mind you have nice healing every time you dodge you will get healed uh, you have a better endurance regeneration because of your virtue and you have double sigil of energy to get the additional dodges now your main goal is of course to try and stay in team fights have a good ally for example the best combo should be uh, sword and dagger thief a spellbreaker 
core warrior dps and i would say if you have good scourges with who knows how to auto attack the enemy it with quickness he can also work really nice and now we're just getting double thief okay this can also work here this should this should be uh, working i'm not so sure with the double druid double soul beast but this can work with a double thief if one of them is dps okay we have a staff and we have a double pistol okay this could also be really cool now the double pistol guy i will try to give him quickness and weaken the enemy and you can see how strong this combo is and by the way for those people who don't know it on the new battle of kyle you can just run immediately to your trebuchet most people don't even know that <laughs> and of course your virtues they are they are pretty nice to use to be annoying against enemies you will see it here in the video with the f1 virtue you have a pull on the virtue 2 you have massive healing you can see it here healing healing plus uh, eternal oasis buff swiftness three boons uh, condition removal for, for, for yourself tom of courage will have the bubble to reflect incoming projectiles and so on and so on normally i would say you are faster when you go this way i just test it out for you guys if we go this way if, i'll be faster on the point i'm not sure it takes the same time okay hmm we have double thief and i i have now no basilisk venom never mind the enemy thief is on fire i'm just gonna quickly support my ally here i will support him by giving him this oh, oh, oh. we just interrupt this guy give him weakness so he will deal less damage to my ally and i just got him a little bit Okay, my ally is not chasing him down, so I have to do it. <laughs> I just wasted now my virtues, but I wanted to kill him pretty badly. Swap here. Oh my god, my entire team is dead. Now I can do here. No, I just failed that. I need to block now a little bit give myself stability oh, oh and I'm dead I'm dead I need to heal give myself this extra healing give myself this stability try to be annoying against this guy and you can see it here I also can just counter my enemies if they are annoying to me I wanted to use my mace too, but it's not working. I need to use my healing. I, I have nothing left now. <laughs> oh, oh. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh man, I had my shield. I had my shields up. <laughs> but my entire team is just gone. You see, the survivability is kind of nice. But my entire team is just dead. This guy is attacking him. My thieves are bad. Okay. This makes no sense. My enemy thief, sh uh, the dagger, t the staff thief should have just finished the enemy thief, and we could have rolled here. Huh. Uh, it's an unranked arena game, so I just wait for my thief. If he's not FK, this guy's FK. Pretty nice. I'm just gonna do it on my own then. You can see it here. I'm applying weakness. I don't want to waste my stability. I just kick him out. With quickness now, give myself some stability. And you can see it here. The damage output is pretty awesome here. Quickness attack. Give myself some... Lock there. Oh, I just wasted my last Aegis. Clock tower captured. 
and you can see it here I'm just kiting a couple of players do this give myself some some what's the name of it these people are still chasing me but my team is getting zero decaps use the healing skill I'm 1v3 guys can I get a thumbs up for that? <laughs> oh, 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 he just got me. He just got me. <coughs> this was my mistake. But you can see it here, my team has literally no, no idea of the game. <laughs> but you just saw, the enemies are not really that strong, but you just saw how good you can survive multiple enemies with this build. Uh, depending on how good you play it I can heal him I can give him Aegis heal him here give him weaken the enemy I just weakened the enemy here so he will deal less damage to my ally give him stability remove his boons Give myself stability. Do this. Deal damage to this guy. Now quickness attack. Quickness attack. He's dead. You can just see the build is also damage wise. Pretty nice. Okay. To the next now. Need to use my healing skill. This guy is not even trying to heal himself up. I have no idea what is he playing. Weaken this guy. Weaken this guy. blind him quickness attack you can see the damage output is pretty nice me your strength, my, my team is just like fk in here <laughs> no one of my thieves is even trying to decap the point i can use now my port if this guy runs up my port of course bugs i use now uh, virtue 2 for the swiftness this is also something that most people don't even know. You can just give yourself swiftness if you need to go fast here and decap a point. Normally I would have fight it on mid, but right now I just go for the decap. And if the enemies respawn, if they come to me, I will just fight them. You see how I gave my team such a huge advantage by 1v3ing the enemies, but yeah, it is unranked arena. I mean, I could have done ranked arena but rank is the same I'm not playing ranked arena because it is just the same people have no idea of the game here we go quickness attacks do this give myself Vegas quickness attacks auto attack this guy dodge there I chose you. do some burning Quickness attack there. He's dead. And I can focus now on the next guy. Oh, I'm just gonna cap it here first. <laughs> the elementalist wants to know it again. I mean he can chill there. He's not such a big threat to me. I want to heal this guy, but give him Aegis, heal him up. Now I just run close, and the enemy element list will decap there. Interrupt them. Where is my ally? He's here. Okay, it is okay. Now let's see if I can get the revive onto this guy. No, he's already dead. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god this elementalist is doing so much damage he got me again <laughs> uh, if the elementalist would have not been here I would have survived that but my team is just not able to do the basics of the game just decapping points capping it 
The druid is finally doing it for the first time. Enemy, Hello. Ne never mind, guys. I'm complaining a little bit too much, but you know, I always try to teach you what you have to do if you have those situations. If you want to progress in PvP and get better, you just have to do certain things. Enemy, now you can see it here. Stability. Weaken this guy. And again. Heal my ally. Give him some... Some more healing, give him stability, give him Aegis, heal him up, and now we can just give him some quickness, but he's not able to attack this guy, and my other ally is here also dying, so I just gonna heal him, give him some additional healing, and now just heal him up, give him some more healing. And you can see it here. Give him stability so he can stop there. Give this guy healing. Run away. Now this pro, uh, this just repeats. You have to do the same things over and over again. Heal with virtue two. Give stability. Give uh, other boons, and just repeat. Now I have to be fast there. If I can stop him from getting the cap. This would have been so interesting, but never mind. What? I'm getting interrupted. I have no stability. This is bad for me. I just gave myself now some uh, retaliation, and now I need to activate my elite before I get knocked back. I can kill this guy maybe <laughs> if he steals on to me I can do this block now holy man need to be careful I remove the boons interrupted this guy now this is dangerous this guy is just freaking dealing heavy damage yeah you see even through even through the the elementalist was dealing heavy damage i was still able to get something going now the healing was not that much because my ally is just not staying to me i was able to heal them more than enough but you can see it here even kills i got tops that kills my thieves should have worked a little bit better okay now you hopefully you got the point what i was about to tell you the point of this build is be annoying, deal damage, heal your allies, revive them and repeat, 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 repeat. So to go to the basics, the build I just showed you and explained you the sigils. Sigil of Enumerate just to remove two boons, especially good against uh, holos, enemy firebrands to remove their stability so my allies can interrupt them or even I can interrupt them. The energy one to have extra dodges. On extra dodges, we will heal our allies. And to the build, honor, virtues, and firebrand. Protective reviver. When we revive, we will revive 10% faster. Plus, after a uh, successful revive, we will get for 19 seconds Aegis and protection plus regeneration. Now, regeneration and protection are the main ones which are pretty strong. They get damage reduction and healing for 19 seconds awesome the next is pure of heart I guess heals when it blocks an attack which means one attack two three four five six plus after that another one seven seven times Aegis plus here with this build eight times when we get interrupted eight times Aegis within the first seconds if it goes well we can have 8 times Aegis and 8 times healing from this one. Now, Force of Will can increase vitality and uh, 40 a 40% uh, healing bonus to our allied friends if we use healing with a Virtue here mantra, if we give them regeneration and Tom of Resolve if we use it to heal our allies as well. They, it will have an increased power to them. Virtues. Uh, 
retali retaliatory subconscious <laughs> I always mess it up we gain retaliation for six seconds and the seven and a half second Aegis for every 30 seconds when we get interrupted it will not happen that often but it, it will happen if they steal our boons absolute resolution to get the 15% endurance regeneration per three seconds or it is passive no it is a passive and every three seconds we get this additional healing for 526 instead of uh, I don't know how much it was it is less indomitable courage which I'm thinking of swapping it off but it is nice because it gives the 30 seconds Aegis interval I was thinking of battle presence to have the passive endurance regeneration and passive healing to our allies in team fights which could be also pretty cool then on the firebrand uh, archivist of whispers weighty, weighty terms and lore master I don't really need to explain those they are just there to for your virtues when you use them you have here tome pages 8 instead of 5 and then you have here mantras have reduced recharge plus the last use of a mantra will also immobilize enemies and lore master has this re recharge reduced of your virtues plus uh, <clears throat> you regain the virtues passive even even if you use them this is the good one now to the utility skills that I'm using I recommend if you play this build I will show you also the other build if you use this build I recommend to try it out not first like this but first you can remove your mantra of truth for let's say contemplation of purity for life as a lifesaver it gives you stun break and converts all conditions into boons which is pretty good against multiple scourges and mirage for example two scourge one mirage or two mirage one scourge I recommend to use this better otherwise you can also use stand your ground or here merciful intervention if you want to be the guy who revives downed alleys I will say one of these but otherwise if you are more advanced you can go with this full mantra now the healing skill will heal yourself and allies in front of you also behind of you but the radius is really short if they have to be right behind you to hit them normally it is like this in front of you but it also seems to hit a little bit people behind you which I didn't know but I just figured it out by playing it mantra of lore removes one condition uh, for the first time the second time and on the third time it will remove uh, it will convert five boons uh, five conditions into boons for the last time but then it gets onto cooldown so you have to be careful using it echo of truth mantra of truth will just cripple and weaken the enemies and on the last hit it will also immobilize the enemies which is pretty strong uh, the main thing here is to cripple deal a little bit of damage weaken the enemies and blind them this is pretty strong in team fights because cripple the enemies will walk slower weakness the endurance regeneration is decreased by 15% plus they will also have the 50% lower chance to critically hit you which is pretty strong in team fights against DPS players and one of their attacks will miss 100% because of the blindness mantra of potence is there for the quickness almost four seconds plus it gives for 11 seconds five stacks of might for you and your allied friends which is pretty pretty strong and the last one it gives you almost eight seconds quickness and for 19 seconds eight stacks of might plus the immobilized pretty strong in team fights especially as I said it if you have a spellbreaker core warrior in your team you can just give that to him and he will shred the enemies with quickness and this huge might stack here eight stacks uh, you can just see it here if I use it here on my own just quickly one two three I have 2.7k I have quickness for over 13 seconds in team fights it is pretty deadly and if you have an ally who gives also might and fury for example you will hit pretty hard even even though you, you are playing a firebrand support the elite is just there for stability you can use it you don't have to reuse it so often but if your stability gets stolen you have to reuse it again and then for the last time it gives you 
15 seconds stability and retaliation and an additional Aegis no swiftness I'm wrong yeah, you can see it here now what I was trying to do is use my maze auto attack plus symbol of faith here a lot of times like this and then auto attack the enemy by auto attacking you deal nice damage plus the third attack will also additionally heal you and your allied friends uh, near you radius of 180 for an additional almost 1k healing it will be 1k because you get the additional healing output from the force of will and you should also get uh, increased healing power here gain increased attributes while affected by quickness which means when you use this you will have the additional healing power and you should get up to 1k healing here per hit which is pretty nice your main goal is just to be annoying by weakening the enemies as i said they will deal less damage it works only against dps but it is also good against condi players because against condis you will just plant their next attack which is pretty annoying especially if they use your, their elite skill and stuff like that and as you saw i'm using my shield to interrupt enemies give aegis to my allies plus protection you can see it here for seven and a half seconds seven and a half second and protector strike deals heavy damage and also additional protection and for 11 seconds and aegis which is pretty pretty strong okay i just have to port up here now virtue one is there to just be annoying when you activate it you get quickness plus might and uh, retaliation you can see it here when you activate it and then you have those eight pages now what you're gonna do is first use chapter three to deal damage and pull your enemies you will pull them here and then you can go with two to burn and weaken and then just you can either auto attack or what i like to do is apply this burning field and then repeat the pull and then just auto attack with quickness here when you quickness auto attack you get these three seconds burning and you can stack those three seconds burning up to three times or four times deal heavy massive damage with the burning because it without condi damage it takes up to five six hundred damage per second which is pretty a lot if you if you can't remove it or if you watch not carefully virtue 2 is there to remove first of all three conditions when you activate it and then i like to use three the first one because it gives you here vigor regeneration and swiftness and it also can be used to run faster on points because you are really slow then two for condi removal four for healing and water field what i like in team fights because allies can just uh, combo finisher there or you can do it on your own normally i'm not sure chapter two was maybe i'm not so sure a uh, combo jump but it, it seems not to be and then five to get this buff for additional healing power i don't know oh, i'm too slow i'm too slow i'm too slow you get this additional healing power here but it seems not to show but you get this healing power uh 20 percent stronger healing effectiveness which is pretty nice and on tom of courage the last one you get stability protection retaliation and quickness again what i like to do the first is chapter three because it blocks projectiles and then four it's a it's a stun break and resistance and the five for all those boons protection aegis retaliation and stability and then two just to taunt enemies and also get the additional aegis auto attack to get stability and swiftness and then just repeat three four five again and go out of it of course you don't have you, you saw it on the video you don't have to waste used all the pages you can also just remove it faster so it gets on cooldown and you can use it a little bit later again uh, what else can i say what is important sword two to port to enemies to get out of combat or to just blind the enemies and deal heavy damage in combination with this you can port use swiftness sword three auto attack swap and you can see it here i did two three four and maze two with one quickness usage so you can do a lot of damage with that double symbol and auto attack uh, protector strike near allies if you can or just after dodging dodge use it get the, an additional aegis dodge again get an additional aegis get protection and just repeat that repeat repeat dodge and again use your shields and so on now i like to use my shield of wrath 
if I have no mantra left. So if I want to activate my mantra, I use shield. You don't need it to when you stomp someone because you have stability or you have blinds and stuff. So shield should be there to save it up if you have a mantra on cooldown and you have to activate it again. So enemies can't interrupt you while you do that. Or ray of judgment, use it and then use a mantra. After that, use your shield and activate the other mantras. That's the best way. And whew, basically that was it. I explained almost everything. If you have still any questions, you can ask me in the comments. You saw how I healed my ally. You saw how I 1v3 the enemies, even through, even though they were not so good. And yeah, I would say that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun playing it, even though the enemies were bad. <laughs> And my allies as well <laughs> but that's just the current pvp state yeah now you will see as always three or even four of my videos and you can also subscribe to my channel follow me on twitch and click on the bell icon to see me live i will play almost daily now if i can so you can see me live and ask me live questions about every profession and about everything in the game so yeah, thanks all for watching and I see you in my next videos. Bye bye guys.